probably at some point going to want to meet with either colleagues, staff, um, clients, or other folks. Okay. And you're going to need a conferencing solution. And I'm actually going to give you my recommendations here. I think you need an internal conferencing solution that answers the question of how do I meet with my staff? And I think you need an external conferencing solution, which answers the question of how do I meet with my colleagues? Uh, how do I meet with my clients? How do I meet with vendors outside the company? Okay. Now in our company, we have two conferencing solutions. We have one for our staff and that we use all day, every day, which is Microsoft Teams. And it's great because in one click, you can just instantly be able to communicate and talk with anybody in the company. But it's not great when you need to meet with a client or somebody outside because Teams requires software to be installed. It requires authentication. You have to have an account. I mean, there's these other things that just kind of get, uh, you know, that just kind of come up that if you're not familiar with it, you know, you can uh, kind of get uh, turned around on, you know, it's not that it's hard, but if you're an existing team users, it's no sweat. You can just go ahead and, and use that solution. However, I like something simpler. I like something that doesn't touch any of our infrastructure. I like something that stands on its own, that eliminates the risk of somebody accidentally having more access or even posing the risk of, of some sort of, uh, of coming too close to our, our security infrastructure. And that's why I like Zoom. Zoom is what we use externally. Teams is what we use internally. And in my opinion, and this is just one humble man's opinion here, Zoom is hands down the easiest. It's the best overall quality. It prevents, it presents all the things that I would want to expect with being able to hold a meeting virtually, including things like being able to turn on my webcam so we can see each other. It allows me to share my screen, allows me to share a file, it allows me to chat with people. Um, and I just really, really like that ability because it's so easy, so effective, and it's a really useful tool to use. Uh, the quality is outstanding. You know, you can present HD video, you can have live participant screens so they could see each other as well. And I find that when set up correctly, it's very secure. You know, it's a very effective way to be able to have secured conversation with people without having to have them in your team's Microsoft account. The collaboration on this is great, especially if you do a little planning, a little bit of thinking about how you want to share this information with other people. And multiple people can be able to present and annotate, and you can really have good business conversations uh, without having to physically be together. They also have a free version of this. Meetings are limited, I think, to 40 or 45 minutes on the free account. Um, but, you know, if you just want to have a, a way to say hi to grandma uh, or be able to have a, a cup of coffee with your, your sister or brother halfway around the world, well, you can do this. And in the COVID world, having those video conferences have been um, a, li a lifesaver for a lot of us, myself included. On my day-to-day, -day, though, what I really like is some sort of internal communication collaboration tool. And the two that kind of lead the approach are Teams from Microsoft and Slack, which is now owned by Salesforce. So in addition to a conferencing tool, which answers the question of meeting with people outside of the company, your internal tool should be one of these solutions. If you already have a Microsoft 365 account, you're better off using Teams. If you're not using a Microsoft account, you're not interested in using a Microsoft account, you don't like Microsoft, well, you might want to check out Slack. Slack was the first in this arena. Teams has only been around now for about two years. It is the successor product to Skype for business. Uh, but in my opinion, it is the superior of the tool two solutions. Now, what these tools allow you to do is communicate and collaborate. Okay. With Teams, for example, what we can do is that we can be able to instantly send a chat message to anybody in the company. So I can pull up Teams, for example, and send a message to Alicia or to Alex or to Christian or to anybody in the company and be able to ask a quick question. Okay. Additionally, we can also be able to talk. Uh, I can, for example, click a button and we'll instantly be able to talk with that person like we were on the phone. And in fact, it sounds a heck of a lot better than on the phone as well. But my favorite option and what our default option in the company is the video chat. Okay. In our company, Deb Maddox, we're all remote. We always have been, and we've never had a physical office and I don't anticipate that ever changing. As such, though, how do you create company? How do you create culture? How do you create community, you know, if you're never in the same place? Well, 
Teams has been wonderful for us in terms of being able to create um, friendship, culture, the whole nine yards within our company because of the video conferencing inside of it. One click, we can see each other and we talk. And in our company, we have a standard policy that when you're communicating with folks, camera on, you know, and, and treat it like a professional meeting in that particular way. And from Teams, I can share a file, you know, so if I need to send something to Alex or Christian or, or Alicia, I can instantly do so, whether it be a funny GIF image of a, you know, funny thing from a movie, or if I want to send a YouTube clip, or I want to send, for example, a spreadsheet. Now, the real reason I love Teams is the fact that it's beautifully and deeply integrated in with the rest of the 365 architecture. Uh, most of us, a lot of CPA firms, a lot of professional accounting firms are using 365. So you're using services like OneDrive, like SharePoint, like Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, and others. Active Directory, uh, things of this nature, email, you know, through Microsoft Exchange. Teams has that all baked right in. It's not that Slack is bad. Slack is a great tool and I have clients that use it that love it. It's just, if you happen to be using the 365 architecture, you'd be, you're, you're not doing yourself a service if you're not using Teams. Uh, it is, in my opinion, the linchpin of online communication and it's the hub that brings all of this together. So we're going to be going into teams in depth in future podcasts, talking about all the amazing things that you can do inside of this. And Microsoft has done a fabulous job, in my opinion, A, keeping this up to date, B, making it available on virtually all devices, Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, mobile devices, and more. And they're always adding things to it. There's all these cool new features that you should be aware of that you can do inside of teams. And it's just something that we use constantly. And so I really look forward to in a future podcast, just diving into this solution.